Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Ashley and welcome to another Foot Draft Friday. If you do enjoy the video, please drop a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you like, check out any social media links or links to the previous episodes. They'll be down in the description below. So as we go into the Foot Draft, guys, we're again trying to build the best possible teams as we can. And trying to build players different teams every time. But we go into this and the formation that we're going to go ahead and use is the 4-1-2-1-2 which is a narrow version with no left mids and right mids. And all that, that reduce our selection is actually my favourite formation. And when we get the choices of captains, the only ones that really fit in are James Rodriguez, Hummels and Marcelo. So I decided to go with James Rodriguez as he is probably one of the better cards and I just feel that he doesn't come up enough in drafts. So we move on into the first striker position and we are going to go ahead and get a decent selection but the player that we're going to go ahead and use is Van Basten. I know there are higher rated cards there but he just seems like the best card to use. And then we move on into the second striker position and we're actually going to go ahead and get the 93 Suarez. We did get 92 in the last selection but he will be the player that we get this time. So we're going to go ahead and put him in the team and move on to the central midfield positions and when we go to the first one we get Ivan Rakitic which is the only option there that fits in chemistry wise as he gets a link to Suarez if I need him to move over to the other side and he's just the best there that I can think of. We move on into the next centre mid position we get Fofana here who is going to be the choice that we take as he is French from the league and none of the other players actually fit so, and they hit, there's more links of French players in this game than any other in my opinion. We move on in to the CDM position and then my choice there was justified as Toulon pops up and gives us a automatic strong link to Fafana if we need it and there's no BBVA players there available to us. So we move on in to the left back position and the player that we're going to pick from this list although we should have really taken Gaia or Felipe Luis we're actually going to take the informed Kazawa as he will get a link to Fafana and give us more chemistry so he moved the team around just so we get the best possible chemistry and move on into the left centre back position and when we pick this left centre back we're looking to try and link everything up and get it all done and dusted and the player that we're going to go ahead and use is the Kiani card who is a half decent centre back decent enough pace and uh, stats on him and he also gets the links that we need we move on into the next centre-back position now and although we do get the 88 goaded in which would be helpful if we go for a full league of BVA team at this point I decided to go with Rafael Varane as he will get the chemistry links that we need and try and bring us closer to 100 chemistry as we move on into the right back position the only player that really helps us out in this position is our blower so we decided to go ahead and take him and bring him into the squad getting us uh, 10 chemistry on all our defenders so we move on into the goalkeeper position and the only one that helps us out is Rufier. I'm not a big fan of Rufier, but I decided to bring him in as he was the best chemistry wise. As we move on into the bench we go into the first defender position and I decided that we'll go with Unkulu just to try and see if I could do something with it later on down the line if the players came out the way that I needed them to. We move on now in to the next defender position and we go ahead and take Felipe Luiz as I felt that uh, we need a, a BBA left back just in case we decide to go full league of BBVA. We move on now into the midfield spots and the player we're going to take is this informed trash ass who is a very solid card and a very decent card at that. And a player that I do rate this year especially his free kicks. We move on into the second centre mid position and obviously the standout player here is going to be Tony Kroos as he fits into the team nicely and gives us that full Liga BBA side that we need now. We move on into the next midfield slash attack position and we go ahead and take the regular Salah card which is a decent enough card and would be a decent impact player in any team. But our next impact player is going to be even better, which is going to be Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale is, again, a fantastic card this year and definitely well worth the use. We go into the next position, and the player that we're going to take is Angel Di Maria. Uh, unfortunately, it's his right wing card, so it can't be used in this team if we needed to. And we move on into the next position. And although Bartra would fit into the team, I felt that I was comfortable enough with the centre-backs that we did have available to us. So I decided to take the inform Oscar as an impact player off the bench once again, just in case I felt that we needed him. We go ahead and take Tremolinas here as just an alternative to Felipe Luis in case I try to do something chemistry-wise that way. Then we go ahead and we're going to go ahead and take Mkhitaryan just because he's the highest rated and nothing else really helps us in this situation. So we take him 
and move on into the final outfield position. And we get the in-form Miranda card, which is a decent solid uh, card, a card that I very much want to get to use at some point, but I just need to get around to actually getting the coin together to use it. We move on into the final position, and none of these are going to be of any real interest, so we take Joel just because he fits into the leagues. We move on to the managers. We don't really need any specific managers, so I just took uh, Martinez. But just because he was Spanish and I thought that would be the best option. So we get a 186, a decent enough team. Defense is a bit suspect, but it is definitely worth using. And in our first game, we're going to be coming up against what I just consider a super team. You've got Ronaldo up front, Team Lear Messi, Team Lear Dani Alves, and also that legend Akocha, who is one of my favourite legends that I have used. I just think he's so good. And it doesn't start off well for us as we give the ball straight to Ronaldo, who puts it in the back of the net, making it 1-0 after five minutes. That's not what you want when you come up against a team like this. But we get an opportunity from a free kick. We swing it in. The keeper gives the ball away to Felipe Luis. His shot is saved. It falls back to Van Basten, who puts it in the back of the net, making it 1-1. One -one. But straight from kickoff, they win the ball back, drive through the area with a Kocha. Kocha manages to glide past my defenders and get his shot off at the near post. The keeper should have done better there and makes it 2 1. And then Cristiano Ronaldo says, Whatever a Kocha can do, I can do better, and drives past the defenders and tucks it past the keeper, making it 3 1. But th this game is far from over, and my opponent once again drives through with Sterling, looking to pass the ball beyond the defenders. Kocha picks up the through ball and puts it in the back of the net, making it 4-1. After that spell of early domination from my opponent, we get an opportunity to get down in the wide area. So nice work by Felipe Luiz, looking to drive inside. Should lay it back here, but the ball ends up going back to the goalkeeper, keeping the scores at 4-1. And then straight after that, they get an opportunity of their own. So nice work by Cristiano Ronaldo, smashing it past the keeper, making it 4-1. One. But as we move on into the second half, straight away my opponent gets an opportunity to make it 6-1 as he gets an opportunity to get Ronaldo in behind the defenders, cross it in towards the back post and Okocha side foot volleys it past the keeper. With the game pretty much done and dusted, we get an opportunity from a free kick with Trash Rashi Mashi smash it past the keeper making it 6-1. Two. Then from a throw, and they give a ball away, just giving it to Suarez. Suarez is going to play it off to Van Basten. Van Basten's going to put it past the keeper, making it 6 3, bringing us slightly back into the game even further. Then we get another opportunity, some nice work here by Van Basten, hustling the defender. We win the ball back, and he looks to try and play it in towards uh, Rodriguez. Rodriguez's shot is well saved by the keeper and tips it past the post for a corner. Then from another corner, we get an opportunity here. The ball's played out to Tony Cruz. He takes it down and tries to have a shot, but the keeper saves it, making it day at 6-3 and that was how the game did finish so we end up with another first round loss and it's really getting frustrating of keep going out in the first round although we did shade the possession he did dominate the shots on target and we end up picking up a first round exit and go into the packs nothing special in the packs really so we just discard all the players and stuff and keep the consumables move on to the second goal pack once again nothing special in the pack so we're going to go ahead and discard the players that we don't need and get the consumables into club for further use and we move on into the final pack which is going to be a silver players pack we do get a silver goalkeeper which may go for sink so i'll put them on the transfer list and also nick power as well will put there but that's going to bring an end to the episode guys hope you have enjoyed until next time my name is Ashley. thanks for watching and goodbye